So outside of Ridge Racer, the last real racing game that I actually put a lot of effort into and played to death was actually a game called Gran Turismo 2. This was back when I was in secondary school and this was I believe on the PlayStation 1. When Gran Turismo 3 came out, I felt it lost the edge that Gran Turismo 2 portrayed and kind of fell off racing games. I never really played the Forza series. The last one I played was Forza Motorsport 6 maybe, but the loading times were so atrocious it put me off. Fast forward to Forza Horizon 5, now this is my first Horizon game, my son has played previous ones and had always recommended that I sit down and play them but being me and being really not interested in racing games, I always put them off. Well this being on Game Pass PC and Game Pass Xbox, I decided to jump in and give it a go. Considering everyone was raving about it, I wanted to see firsthand what was so good about this game and I have to say I was completely and utterly blown away. The visuals on this game are outstanding, the sunsets, the vistas, the scenery is all just breathtaking when the sunlights are shining through the leaves and making that awesome sh you know glimmer shimmer the reflections it all just adds to the experience when you're zooming down the motorway at 200 miles an hour hitting those speeds while you can actually feel it as you're slipstreaming through it's it, it's just amazing there is very little i can say about this game that isn't praiseworthy the game is always looking to reward you, you complete tasks, you get credits, you also get spins. It's like a gacha roulette world to be fair. It rolls and you can either get some credits or a vehicle or some clothing or an emote. It really just, you know, it's just RNG of what you get. But that is just some aspect of the game. You can actually go along and go into an auction house and start bidding. I actually trolled someone the other day and pushed them up from 6K all the way up to 35, 40K. I had no intention of buying it and I could see that they wanted me to bid that little bit more. But with 30 seconds left on the counter, I just said, you know what? It's all yours. It's, it's just, it's mindless fun. And it's really good to see the way you can do this of course i wouldn't you know trolling is bad but you know it is fun where it is but it's there you can it's got like a whole economy of its own you've got multiple collectibles within the game whether it's xp boards and different ways to collect them you've got mini games around the world you've got multiple different areas of the map that you have to open up and go and visit and each kind of node within the actual segment is actually unique to itself as well as the terrain you've got the volcanic areas that we've seen i haven't explored everywhere just yet i've only spent about what 10 hours and i haven't even scratched the surface of this game it's stunning the controls of the vehicles are spot on if you try to take the mclaren onto a tarmac it grips onto the road and it rips it's absolutely amazing take it onto the gravel onto the mud and that car just is not drivable it's so good so authentic and it looks stunning. That's, I mean, I can't stop talking about the way it looks, sounds and feels because it's what makes Forza Horizon. It's what makes this game. And the music for this game, while you're in Mexico, is perfect. It absolutely adds that extra layer you're looking for. This game, seriously, is great. You've got a plethora of vehicles, plethora of collectibles, plethora of racetracks to overcome. You've got Dravitars, which you can basically race around. The other day, I was racing on a solo match, but I had my friend's ghosts that I was racing against, and it was so cool to see them there while I was just zooming past them and beating them. It was great, and I absolutely loved it. It gave me that buzz, and the next day I contacted one of them, and I said, hey dude, your driver tar was there in my race, and I smoked you clean. And then they said, cool, the next time they're going back into the game, they're gonna try and see if they could smoke my time, and it's just really good fun. There are a couple of problems, especially with the network connection. It's constantly disconnecting me on PC, so I do hope they fix that. But all in all, if you haven't tried this game, seriously, I'm not gonna go into all this depth about it. It's free on Game Pass, Xbox and PC. There's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't be giving this game a shot. It's criminal not to. The game is stellar, it is fantastic, and it is worthy of all the praise it's getting. 
go out there, pick it up, download it, get into Mexico, get driving, and enjoy this experience. It is one of those technological marvels that everyone should experience at least once. And I wholeheartedly recommend this for you to get out there and check it out. Well, everyone, thanks so much for watching. That's me for Forza Horizon 5. I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe and remain legend. Before I finish, did you know we now have a merch store? You can check out these and more. The link is in the description below. I also wanted to show you a cool feature YouTube has enabled for me. Clicking on this gives you an option to send me a special thanks. I am notified every time one of these are purchased so I can personally say thank you and it's another way of supporting the channel alongside the YouTube membership and Patreon. Of course, simply watching and liking the content I am making is showing amazing support alone, so that is more than enough. Thanks so much for watching and until the next time, stay safe everyone and remain legend. Thanks so much for watching my video. If you look over to the left, you'll find a video that I'm recommending to you that I think you might actually enjoy. On the right, you'll see a video that is recommended by YouTube. I really do hope you enjoyed the video and until the next one, remember to always remain legend.